Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McRae. Depression is considered to be a treatable condition. But for some people, standard treatments aren't effective. And when traditional or standard treatments such as medications and talk therapy or psychotherapy don't work, there is at least one alternative, and it's called transcranial. It's called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. TMS is a non-invasive procedure that uses magnetic fields to stimulate nerve cells in the brain to improve symptoms of depression. And here to explain how TMS works, good luck with that, is Mayo (laughs) Clinic psychiatrist Dr. Simon Kung. Welcome to the program, Dr. Kung. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet both of you as well. I say good luck with this because the only thing that I know about any sort of treatment along these lines is electroshock therapy, Mm. which is last century (laughs) <laughs> right, right. What is it the same thing? So TMS is not the same as electroshock therapy. And um, TMS, you asked, how does it work? So it actually is something where a lot of the psychiatrists, we don't have an exact answer of how TMS works. There are many theories of how it works. And probably the best theory that, that I can give you is that the current thinking is that there's a depression circuit in the brain, and we need to stimulate that circuit. And um, so, so that's kind of the best theory. But the way TMS works is there's a magnet that's put against the head. And this is an outpatient procedure. You don't have to be in the hospital. And this this magnet, the machine clicks away. And there's different settings. But usually it's a, a four-second uh, stimulation and then 26-second pause. And this goes on for about 37 minutes uh, for over the course of the treatment. And you have to have many of these treatments. So the current thought is about 20 to 30 treatments is what we need to help with depression. So it is definitely not the same as ECT because electroshock therapy or electroconvulsive therapy is uh, something where we take people, put them under anesthesia, and deliver electricity to their head to cause a seizure. And that's been around since the 1930s or 1940s. Uh, and In the um, popular media and movies, it doesn't have such a great reputation. Exactly. But uh, but certainly psychiatrists will will do the electroshock when it's appropriate. Um, It's reserved for the the most severe depression that's refractory. Um, And it's nice that now we have another option, which is TMS, which is not a convulsive therapy, doesn't require being in the hospital. Um, It doesn't have the side effects of ECT, which would be things like memory loss. Um, So TMS is is, uh, a treatment that has a lot fewer side effects than ECT. So it doesn't require any anesthesia? Correct. No anesthesia. So you come in as an outpatient and you would do this 30 times, 20 to 30 times, 20 to 30 different days? Yes. Are there any side effects of this treatment? So the main side effect is it is uncomfortable where the uh, stimulation is at the head. So usually the magnet is put on the side of the head and and this tapping. When it taps, I've had patients tell me it feels like a woodpecker is is tapping Mm -hmm. against my head. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes when, uh, after about one week, patients usually say, oh, it's annoying, but but, um, it's, I can tolerate it. Sometimes when it's tapping away, there might be some twitches of around the eye or around the face, so that can be expected. But really, the discomfort is the main, the main side effect. There's no memory impairments with TMS, which is the biggest thing that people worry about with ECT. Does it take 30 treatments before someone starts to notice a difference, or do they start to gradually feel something right yeah. away? So in the, in the official studies, when they looked at this, most of the studies wait about six weeks, which is 30 treatments. And the initial studies showed that at four weeks, people might start feeling better. Now, I've talked to some other psychiatrists who tell me that if a person's going to get better from TMS, they think that there's going to be uh, an iota of improvement by the second week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes that's the case. But I've also had patients who don't, get any, don't feel any better until towards the fourth or fifth week of treatment. And it really... It does require that towards the end of treatment before people start feeling better. I assume this is not a first-line treatment for people with depression. Who is a candidate? So the ideal candidate is somebody who's at least tried maybe one or two uh, up to 
a few psychiatry medicines for depression, and those haven't worked. Now, officially, the FDA approves TMS. Um, if you've just tried one antidepressant and it doesn't work, then it's FDA approved for that. The practical uh, consideration is insurance companies will want to see that patients have had at least four different antidepressant medications uh, before they'll cover TMS. Now, another common reason people look to TMS is because medicines have side effects. So yeah. we, we frequently have patients say, I take a medicine and after a few days I have to get off it. It makes me so anxious, nervous. So the insurance companies will frequently say, if you're a person who has reactions and bad side effects to medicines, then they would consider covering that as well. It would seem to me it would it should be the opposite that you because medications yeah. of de- antidepressants are terrible yeah. and sometimes worse than dealing with the depression itself. Yeah. Why w- are we heading for a time when TMS will be first and then antidepressants? That could conceivably happen in the future. Mm -hmm. I think right now the thought, the standard approach of psychiatry treatment of depression is medications, trial and error. Um, TMS can always be used even earlier. And sometimes families come in and they do say, hey, I've only had one medication or I don't want to try medicines. I want to try this TMS. And TMS is safe, low side effects that um, if the family is willing to pay out of pocket, we can certainly go ahead and give TMS instead of trying yet another antidepressant. And how much is the treatment? So the cost is about $10,000 for the entire 30 treatments. The treatments occur Monday through Fridays, so that works out to be six weeks. Wow. Man, I, especially for teens and kid, that population that really has trouble with side effects, I would think this might be uh, a great future Yes, yes. What, so tell what us. Purpose, yeah, sorry, what percent of patients fail medical management, drug treatment? There are lots of different numbers uh, published, but one commonly accepted is that probably one third to half of patients might not get better with depression um, after, let's say, three or four medicines. Wow. So it's quite a, it's it's quite a, a sizable number. Of, yeah. Yeah. And are you studying this at Mayo Clinic? Is there research being done? For transcranial magnetic mm-hmm. stimulation? Yes. So we both, we have a clinical service as well. And we've had our TMS services since uh, 2009. And we were involved in one of the initial studies that got TMS approved. And more recently, so this is quite exciting, my, one of my colleagues is looking into TMS for adolescent populations. So exactly what you just said, yeah. Tracy, about the adolescents. Um, so we've got a research study with that. We also have a research study about TMS and bipolar depression mm-hmm. uh, because TMS is not officially approved for bipolar depression yet. It's only approved for major depressive disorder. And there's also a, a study my colleague is doing about a uh, different form of TMS uh, for depression. Hmm. Now, it seems like uh, we hear about more and more people being depressed. And in fact, the CDC has confirmed that, that the rates, uh, the, the number of people with depression, the rate is on the rise. Is there any explanation for it? Yeah, that's a, a that's very... the best question of the whole interview. <laughs> yeah, one, and you get one <laughs> sentence to answer it. <laughs> well, Ten seconds for that. Depression is such a complicated um, uh, illness, and depression is a major cause of worldwide disability. I always think of depression as there's brain chemistry factors, there's psychological factors, and there's social factors, for example, what's going on in our lives. So I, I think the um, complexity of life, the world... It, Things don't get simpler. Um, that contributes to it. Um, but at least there, are, we try to have more medications and treatments and even psychological treatments to try to help people feel better. In a word, the cause is multifactorial. Multifactorial. That is the, <laughs> that is the right word. All right. We're talk- we've been talking with Mayo Clinic psychiatrist Dr. Simon Kung about a treatment for depression when drug treatment has failed, and it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. Dr. Kung, yes. thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.